parasocial relationships and my perspective on it. Personally, I find that my entire life I have, to a certain extent, engaged in a parasocial relationship because my entire life I've been surrounded by characters, media, everything, uh, both willingly and just naturally because of how I live, what my lifestyle is. And although I will say I have a pretty healthy family life, I still find myself thinking that is there a reason that I do engage in parasocial relationships? And I just realized that because I am ranting to myself, but also I do want to define what a parasocial relationship is to me. I basically think it's when the other person obviously does not know of your existence, but is being is performing and there's a certain medium. It's kind of sort of really fascinating how quickly our brains adapt to it, but also don't adapt to it, is the medium of the screen or any kind of, mostly the screen, and I don't necessarily know about books, maybe even books, but any kind of work, any kind of device that's able to transmit information about a certain individual, and there's certain character traits that we find in them, and then we treat them both as characters, even if they're real people, or as a semblance of something that we idealize, and this kind of sort of fuels the cycle of idealizing people or whatever. Uh, and it's really fascinating. So. With that, I personally think that a parasocial relationship is when the other person is not aware of your existence, is performing, and you appreciate that performance and engage with them in terms of how limited your engagement is, be it through commercial support, financial support, uh, watching their content, or simply watching them perform, and then promoting that within your own social circles where you have social relationships. And you do it with the aspect of and uh, completely different characteristics. There are some characteristics that I don't think I found in social relationships, even when I searched up on them, with parasocial relationships, including devotion, emotional uh, and sentimental attachment, a certain romanticization. And it all ties in together. And although it seems so cohesive and really nice in my mind, I'm just ranting right now because I want to get the thought down right now. Um, and I was looking at it and I realized that I think one of the reasons that parasocial relationships are taken and enacted and, and just kind of sort of kept there is something that I didn't necessarily find when I was researching up on it, but I do feel like many people do share this. It may not uh, be articulated that well on the internet, but I think it's both conscious and subconscious. You will never get or expect a bad interaction in a parasocial relationships, uh, in your parasocial relationships, because you're constructing that world for yourself. So whatever this person is, you're creating their dialogue, you're creating their actions. It's kind of sort of like what happens with celebrity fan fictions. And you will never get that which you yourself do not have complete narrative control over. So a parasocial story, sorry, a parasocial relationship is like a story. It's a narrative. It's very fascinating. And that's something that we continually do. But how is it different from myth? Do we form parasocial relationships or did people um, that you can anthropologically study or see in previous civilizations, even recently with uh, mythology, did they form parasocial relationships or were they just simply ideals that were explicitly shown as ideals? Because it's very fascinating to see that it's quite different now. 